Hi guys, I wasn't going to show you this, but I've given up coffee. I had two coffees today, so I've been bouncing off the walls and I thought, why not? Let's show the world. So this is our Raptor MX. So it's designed more for an MX track, extra clearance, extra performance, not necessarily super long range, but we're talking 15 kilowatt, 21 inch front, 18 inch rear, 72 volt system with back 4000. Our new MX seat, which I'm sure you're very interested in. And to all those people that have inquired, we're going to get back to you very soon to give you first option on these seats. Um, we've had so many disruptions from COVID and many other things that we're really behind, but they are in production now. And we're going to get them out to the people that have been, been patient and waiting for them. I'll show you more on that seat soon anyway. So what's special about this bike? Well, We've put all our expertise into designing this bike to make it the quickest, lightest, uh, best handling bike that we could. So we've gone for the 21 inch and the 18 inch SM Pro uh, wheel setup. The reason is if you ride the standard Suron or a smaller wheeled Suron on an MX track with ruts, often you'll drag the foot pegs into the ruts and it's a real pain. So getting that extra clearance uh, for MX or you know open trails, you know, and you're if you're a tall rider, it makes sense. Now, the bigger wheels do suck a little bit more power out, but because this is uh, you know full spec, 15 kilowatt setup, then you hardly notice the difference. So the SM Pro wheels, straight pull hubs, beautifully made. We build them with an offset so that uh, you can get the maximum tire in. Um, hopefully without shaving the knobs. Now this setup is the Dunlop K990. Beautiful tyre made for vintage motocross. So this is a 90 by 118. Weighs about 3.7 kilo, so it's light uh, compared to your, your regular 18 inch. It's slightly narrower. Uh, so it's a perfect choice for the Suron. Just like our uh, 90 by 116, this is a 90 by 118. So that's a really good option for fast trails, hard, hard surfaces, motocross, etc. Lightweight, it, it has a minimal impact. So that setup is really good. As far as the battery goes, this is a um, high discharge 72 volt lithium ion battery that we've, we've had developed for us. We've got it matched with a back 4000 and we've tuned it for maximum low down and also um, maximum high end uh, speed with, with overrun. So we've also got our other goodies. We've got a limited edition HDPE um, Pro Bash plate. We've got a clear anodized uh, CNC foot pegs and we've got our um, special brace as well. Uh, we've also got our riser which uh, works exceptionally well. Now a lot of people like the riser bars. Um, I prefer these mounts because it puts the bars further forward and gets your, your controls in the right angles. And you don't want, with, with a dirt bike, if you fall off, you want things to rotate. You don't want things to break. So if you tighten them up so that they grab but are not overly tight, and you fall off, it can, you know, give a little bit. So it works really well and we've sold many, many hundreds of these and uh, many happy customers. So let's get on to our seat. Now this seat is unique. We spent a lot of time developing several seats. We had our original MX Comfort. We had a limited beta run on those and we got a lot of feedback. From that feedback, we've developed several different types of seats. And it's been a long road because of COVID and many other issues you know, that are happening everywhere. We've had supply issues and downtime and lockdowns and so on. But if you have inquired about our seat in the past, we are going to get back to you very shortly. And we're going to give you first options on availability of these seats. Now they come in several colors, black with red, blue, yellow, white tops, or red, and blue, um, blue and black. So how it works is your battery access. So it tilts up, get your battery out, no problems. 
tilts down, locks your battery cover in place, and you have a very robust strap on there. It's very comfortable. I think it looks good too. So I'm sure that um, you'll find that the longer seat is far better for maneuvering. If you're used to a dirt bike, you really have to move around a lot. You have to get really far forward to get traction over the front. Sometimes you have to get back. But generally, everyone that's tried these seats tends to sit where the battery cover is, not where the normal seat is. You tend to sit further forward, and this makes a world of difference. So chalk and cheese, plus it adds a little bit extra height, which you'll appreciate if you're a taller rider as well. So we look forward to releasing this bike in very, very limited um, amounts. But if you've got any questions or you have any interest, or even if you've got some ideas, you know how to improve the Ciron, that's what we're here for. We love tinkering. We love uh, developing products for these bikes. They're a fantastic bike. They're a good platform. And just with those few extra tweaks, they can be improved and they're getting better and better and better. And so, yeah, we just welcome any feedback that you give us. We can't always get back to you straight away, but you know, we really appreciate your comments and your feedback. Uh, we thank you for your time and I look forward to getting this on the track very soon to show you how it performs against gas bikes and other uh, stock bikes. I'm sure you'll really appreciate how quick this little thing is. So we thank you for your time and we look forward to making a few more videos and we're really looking forward to developing a few more products for you to uh, make these little Surons the best they can be.